So you just got your Raspberry Pi and you want to start programming now. Um, I'm going to walk you through um, setting up a Hello World program in Python, in Bash, and in C++ just to make sure everything um, is where you expect it would be um, and explain some of the, the small details that you need to remember when you're writing programs in these languages. So to start off with, um, I'm in the home directory uh, in Raspberry Pi and I have no files created. Um, I'm going to be using Vim as my editor, so you have the default VI editor and I did a sudo app git install Vim to get um, full Vim. Uh, you obviously would need an internet connection to download uh, Vim. And what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be starting off with uh, Python. So first let's make a file. We're going to say the I uh, Python uh, hello.py, the extension for Python. Now that we have that, we need to find the path to Python, um, and we're going to uh, use the default path, which is user bin python and print hello python. And we save that, and you will see that that file is actually created. Now if I were to try to run this right now, I wouldn't be able to because it does not have the permissions. So you will see that my uh, Python hello right now does not have the ability to be executed. So we need to change that, and the way you can do that um, is by chip mounting. Now if you didn't want to um, change the permissions, you can run it using Python followed by the file name. So you'll see hello Python. But let's chip mod it so we can run it um, like a normal program. So if we do that, we would do sudo chipmod plus x python hello. And now if I check the properties, we will see that the Python hello uh, is now has the ability to be executed. So if I wanted to run that, I'm able to get the hello Python file. And again, the code for that was simply the path to Python followed by print hello Python. So let's move on to Bash. Bash is pretty similar to Python in your setup. So we can do um, bi bash hello dot sh, and this time we're going to define the path to bash, and our statement hello bash, and that should do it. Now, once again, it. Um, the hello bash does not have the ability to be executed. Um, actually, I'm not sure if I would be able to run it right now if I were to do bash hello. Yep, so it's similar to the Python if I def uh, define that it's using bash, um, you're able to execute it. But if I were to try to uh, execute it directly, I'm unable to do. So once again, we're going to change the permissions. permissions. So sudo chip mod plus x to make it executable, the name of our file. And now we have the ability to uh, run hello bash or bash hello.sh. And if I do that, I'm able to run that file. And once again, the code that was used for that was right here. Um, So simply the path followed by uh, an echo statement. And now uh, C++ uh, is a little more to get the hello world file going, but we'll be able to do that. So we're going to start off making our file. Um, C++ hello. Um, and in this file, I'm going to do a found include io stream using namespace 
base std uh, int main out hello c plus plus lines zero close that off so we include our IO stream uh, to say we're using the standard namespace and it's a pretty simple program we save and exit um, we can try to compile this program now uh, G++ C++ hello last output we'll call it C++ plus as the name of the file out. And if I try to execute that now, I get my hello C++ file. So by default when I compile my uh, C++ file, it creates an executable file. So if I look at the permissions for C++, um, you can see that the file that was generated when my file was compiled it has the ability to be executed while my C++ hello.cpp is not able to be executed. So there you have it. Um, I'll give you the code one more time for the C++ file. Um, but that's how you do a very simple hello world program. Um, using the default settings for the Raspberry Pi image and C++, Bash, and Python.